Welcome to the Cranston East Library Shelving Tour. This video will show you the basic sections that you'll be shelving in here at the library. And we're going to start off with fiction, which any call number on the book that starts with F, you'll notice the spine labels with the white labels on the bottom of the book. If it starts with an F, then that goes into the fiction section. And the fiction section, as you can see as we're walking down it, goes around the entire back of the library. So all against the wall, all the way down. And we're going to be talking, uh, walking a little bit for a little bit of a distance here. So I just wanted to say we're very thankful that you're interested in shelving here at the library. And it's really important to put things in good order so that other students can find them. And that's so when you're shelving, things are easy to locate in terms of where to put a book back because sometimes the sections can get a little unwieldy and out of order and then it makes it tougher for you and tougher for everybody to find things. So as you can see, here we are still, we're in fiction. It keeps going across the back and eventually you just keep going and you'll see it's over. it goes all the way over to the right there, right next to where that display is. Now you've reached the nonfiction section, and that's when you go back to the beginning of fiction. It starts right across from fiction, and it's shelved by Dewey Decimal number. You'll see more about Dewey Decimal in the video that we have on the LibGuide for you as a volunteer. So the numbers go from 000 all the way up to 999, and it's all the inner shelves that are sort of the inside of fiction. That's where nonfiction is, and you can see each shelving section has a certain set of numbers within it. So if you find a book that says 758, you know to go right in that, in that shelving area. And as I was saying, it goes all the way down to the 900s. So now we've come to the periodical section, and that's the, the direct opposite of the end of nonfiction. That's where you'll find the periodicals. And periodicals are just the magazines. Periodical is another way of saying something comes out periodically, but it's a magazine. And you'll notice that most of these boxes are labeled with the year of the magazine. This one is not. And if you find something like that, you should really go talk to Ms. Blaze about how to label that, because every one of these should be labeled. Now we're in the graphic novels section, and that's right across from the periodicals. And the graphic novels are alphabetical by author, but they also are in series order as well. So if you notice, it's one, two, three, four, five, and you want to be sure once you've got it in author order that you also have it in number order as well. So this brings us to the series section, which is right next to graphic novels. And you need to shelve these by the name of the series and then by the author. So for example, it'll show on the spine label blue for Blueford, and then the author will be in the bottom. This brings us to the short story collection, which is to the right of the end of the fiction section. And this has on the call number the letters SS, and then the first three letters of the last name of the author, or the first three letters of the title. This brings us to the biography section, directly to the right of short stories. Biographies are shelved by the person that the book is about. And so you'll see on the spine label a letter B, and then the first three letters of the last name of the person the book is about. Directly to the right of the biographies are the collective biographies. They start with letter CB, then in the middle it's 920, and then it's three letters. And these are biographies that are about a group of people rather than just one person. This brings us to the reference section, and these start with the letters R, E, F, and then they have a Dewey Decimal number, and then they have a three letter, either the name of an author or the three letters of the beginning of the title of the reference book. And reference books do not leave the library, they, generally. They certainly usually are not checked out to students because they're, they're available for everybody to share and to make copies and that kind of thing. So it's quite a, a sizable collection, but you probably won't be shelving all that much in this section. It's just important for you to know that it's there and what it is. 
Next to the reference section, you're going to see a few displays. And these are nice because they make it so that you could actually, if you see a book that fits into one of these displays on the cart, you could put it here rather than shelving it in its regular section. So you'll notice there was a graphic novel display, a thriller display, that a horror display, and then you're also going to see a historical fiction display. Some of these displays may change, but it's good to know that they're there. And then if you know that there's a really good book, you can put it on the display rather than shelve it. I hope this tour has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, ask Mrs. Blaze.